All right, I uh, have it sort of in the box now. It's running off the power supply in the box. And I don't have the BNCs wired up yet, so the scope probes are still here. Uh, but I did uh, swing the camera around. Uh, so I did put a, uh, a control here for the uh, collector voltage. And uh, I do have this, this wired up for the, uh, for the base currents. And so we can look back there. So if I change the base currents, goes down, goes up. So that's working a treat. Um, and then if I grab the uh, collector voltage, I can make it go down and I can make it go up and go into breakdown. So that's working good. Uh, so I uh, definitely have to hook up a switch for PNP and PN and try that out. Um, might be a bit tricky for wiring, but I think it's okay. And I need to hook the B and C's up to this, uh, these ports here. Um, there needs to be another switch here to go from inverted to non-inverted when you go to PNP, NPN. That's why I haven't wired it up to the back yet. So I need to figure out where to put those switches. Um, but I'm pretty happy. Pretty clean, pretty clean display now. Um, having good grounds and uh, buffers on the, uh, on the measurement signals and stuff uh, cleans things up really good. And uh, having a Having a knob on the front for uh, or base is really nice. A base, yeah, um, is really nice. So anyway, uh, I will continue. All right, I think this is going to be the last video of the uh, transistor curve tracer. Um, I still have some work to do, but I think you get the idea and you're probably bored with this project anyway. Uh, I, I'm actually even getting a little bored with it. Um, I do need to do a couple things. Um, I have, I have uh, the uh, control here for the, uh, for the base, that, uh, the base current steps that I've showed you. Um, I have added a, uh, an output knob for the collector voltage. Uh, the, the meter reads the, the collector voltage, so uh, 100 volt full, full scale, so that's 50, 50 volts of uh, collector voltage. Um, it's a bit touchy, uh, and so I think uh, a 10 turn pot here or better selection of values instead of just a pot, maybe a resistor across the pot uh, to dampen it a bit in its, in its range. But anyway, it's a bit touchy for my, for my likings, but that's what I had in my junk bin. Uh, so that's what it's going to get. Uh, so so that's up and running. Uh, obviously, I need some type of fixturing to have the uh, t transistor under test up front. And so I'm assuming I'm going to use this uh, hole here. Um, I believe you, you, there are some, what I need is a three a three pin connector. Um, and then I could have uh, different types of fixtures plug into the uh, plug into that. And I believe there are some kind of coaxial three pin connectors that uh, uh, that I can get that will fit that hole. I just don't have them right now, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do it the way it is here. Um, I have it working with NPN and PNP, so I'll give you a demo a demo of that. Um, but uh, I think uh, all of the uh, all the circuitry that I want is in place. And now it's just a matter of buttoning it up and calling it a day, calling it a day. And uh, uh, let's go ahead. I'll show you the back. All right. So I have the uh, the horizontal vertical uh, coming out on on the connectors that were already there, and I've added two switches over here. So when both switches are in the uh, uh, right direction, it's NPN and you flip them over to the side, it's PNP. It has to reverse two different things. It has to reverse the uh, voltage across the, uh, re the uh, uh, collector. Instead of doing uh, positive collector voltages, we're going to do negative voltage uh, collector, uh, collector voltages. And that's because the emitter always stays referenced to ground. Emitter is always ground. So, um, yeah, so the collector goes positive, negative. That's, uh, I forget which switch. That's one of the switches. And then the other switch, instead of ramping positive uh, base currents, it, 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 it does negative base currents, so it flips those. So th that's these two here. Uh, it'd be nice to have one switch, but uh, I don't have a switch that's, uh, 
it would need to be four pole double throw. <laughs> anyway, so I have two, two pole double throws. Um, and so that's this here. I also have some ideas. If I ever go back and uh, do a PC board layout of this thing, maybe in the future, uh, if I get bored, um, to make it all uh, with relays instead of switches, have it all relay controlled. And then the Arduino could do the switching. You could tell the Arduino, it could have a little menu system. I have NPN, I have PNP, I have FAT, whatever. It could, uh, 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 it could, it could kind of modify all of the settings with relays. And I think that'd be a much cleaner design. Um, anyway, so let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, turn it on one last time, and I'll show you the difference between an NPN and a PNP. And uh, like I said, uh, this will be the last video. And um, yeah, uh, I encourage people to to build a, a, a curve trace. There's lots of designs out there. That you can buy them. You can buy kits. You can all kinds of stuff. But it, it kind of gives you an idea of what transistors do, and uh, it's a nice it's a nice learning tool. Um, I'm all about building stuff and then not using it. <laughs> so I love building equipment and then letting it sit on the shelf. It's just the, the, the joy of building the equipment is, is kind of what I get. That, that's my hobby. I like collecting uh, test equipment. I like uh, uh, modifying test equipment, refurbishing test equipment, designing test equipment, and then never using it. So that's my thing. Okay, so we have uh, BNC cables uh, hooked up and uh, we're getting a... Uh, we're getting a trace here of a uh, NPN transistor. And so we will take out our NPN transistor. Uh, we will uh, we will flip the two switches to PNP mode. All right, my PNP ended up on the garage floor, so we can test it, make sure it's still good. <laughs> um, now, one other thing that needs to be flipped in the circuitry and I just didn't add a switch for it because I can flip it here on the uh, on the oscilloscope. Or yeah, um, I am going to show you that the PNP the NPN transistor was over in this quadrant, and now the PNP is down in that quadrant. So we need to do a flip flip. So we'll do a a flip on this channel, and we'll do a flip on this channel. Flip. There we go. And now we're now we're up in that quadrant, so uh, we're back in we're back in business. So we can uh, we can reset our zero, and we will set our zero down here. There we go. So that should automatically happen in the uh, in the instrument. I just haven't. I actually have the circuitry in there. I just haven't wired up the switch to do that yet. Um, so yep. Yeah, so there's the PNP transistor. And we can increase the uh, we can increase the collector voltage on that, and we can change the uh, beta or the uh, the base base ramp. So there you go, uh, curve tracer project almost complete, but uh, complete for you guys. <laughs> I'll see if I can. Um, Let's see if I can drop a schematic for this thing and maybe post it, but uh, I haven't done that yet. I probably should document it better than I have, uh, even just for myself. <laughs>